Architecture is passion. It's about making spaces. It's about uh, making sense of place, something that makes all of us better. You have to really have this kind of passion for the built environment. And that's what we instill in our students. We, we, we try to get them so excited and, and so passionate about it that the projects are becoming very personal. They are not just uh, the fulfillment of the requirements of the studio. Um, they kind of you know, cross the, the barrier between being a building that is of mortar and bricks to being space, to being having sense of place, to being um, beauty, art. architecture because I really like the creative aspect of it whereas other majors I couldn't be as creative everything's kind of concrete and there's just endless possibilities with architecture it's always growing and I really liked getting into this field where I could use my creativity to design something make the world better I didn't know I wanted to be an architect I knew I wanted to study architecture I had an interest in high school my junior year when I took the architecture class and the class didn't have any hand drafting it just had a CAD program where I got an interest in design and space planning and from there I knew I wanted to study architecture. What I like about the program is that there's such a diversity of classes they have. It's not just studio classes but they have construction classes, they have sustainable classes, they have history classes, it has everything and there's such diversity that you get to kind of dip into different areas and figure out what you like and that's something that's really special here. Broadly, there's, there's really two groups of classes that we're going to have in the architecture department. There's hands-on studio classes where we're drawing, we're building models, um, we're using the computer to explore different design ideas. And then there's the, the basis classes where we're learning about technology, we're learning about uh, architectural history, uh, we're learning about materials and methods. And both of those classes uh, support one another. Hopefully what we, le what we learn in the history classes is then applied in the studio sequence. Really, freshman year, um, they try to involve you in the more creative process. Um, so you're really trying, they're really trying to make you think abstractly, um, not really, you know, what is a building made out of. You know, you really have to dive deeper and be more meaningful. So they really try and search that process freshman and sophomore year. And then when you get into your junior and senior year, um, it kind of gets more practical. So you're dealing with real clients, you're dealing with real situations. So in some respects, like you have that background, um, but you're putting it in real, wor real world situations. So architectural critique is one of the most important educational experiences that you can get in, in the school. Um, it really culminates the all work that has happened over the semester and um, students have to explain their ideas, their projects to external audience. And that external audience usually is professionals from the field. So those are people uh, very knowledgeable that have worked in the profession for many years and they can really see the project for what it is. So there's a, this very interesting dialogue between the student and the professional. On one hand, the student trying to convince the professional what is happening and how it was designed. And on the other hand, the professional actually explaining how real life influences choices that are being made. And this dialogue, this, this little discourse that happens over the 10, 15 minutes, it really enriches the student's understanding of how architecture functions, what should happen, how um, spaces work or don't work. And students really soak in that knowledge um, and, and then um, Next, next semester when they work on other projects, you can really see how much it improved their design and this process of thinking um, throughout this entire journey. I guess the most interesting part of the program is that we are evolving, and we are evolving quite rapidly. And that's just not because we have a new building or we um, have very knowledgeable uh, educators, but also because we're thinking about the future. Some of our students are attending um, top graduate level uh, institutions within the New England region and we are very proud of that um, and we currently are thinking about expanding our architecture program and offering graduate degree in the future so they will be actually able to stay here and finish their education um, with the master of architecture level.